Hi, kindergarten friends and family. Mrs. White coming to you today with a little Lexia tutorial. By far and away, um, the majority of questions I fielded yesterday were about signing on to Lexia and maybe some of you having difficulties doing so. So I wanted to walk you through this. If you are a Lexia pro, then don't even worry about it. You don't have to watch this. But for those of you who haven't used it in the past at home, I wanted to walk you through so that you could get on easily and your students could receive the benefits of working on Lexia while we are out of school. The web address for Lexia is lexiacore5.com. Let me spell that for you, L-E-X-I-A-C-O-R-E, number five, dot com. And when you enter that, you will pull up this opening screen. Here you'll notice that the blue student tab is highlighted and the educator tab is just white. If you happen to check, click on the educator tab and highlight that, you will not be able to sign on. It's gonna ask you to get your teacher, that kind of thing. So you need to have this blue tab highlighted. Here you are going to enter a seven digit number that is your child's student number and it begins with number nine. These numbers should be in your packet and um, if by chance you don't have it or have misplaced it, um, message me and I'm happy to look it up for you. Um, so you're gonna type in the, your child's student number right here and I'm going to use someone's student number and I'm gonna do so discreetly so that I don't share any important student information with you. A uh, password, everybody's password is the same and it is read with all lowercase letters. So once I entered that read, you notice that this blue login bar highlighted right here. That means um, you've got the right information and it's ready to log you in. I'm going to cover up my screen because I don't wanna share any important student information and I will show you the next screen in just a second. When you get to the next screen, it is going to ask you if this is you. So I just wanna show you what it looks like. If it is you, then you're gonna click on yes. If it's not, click on no and message me and we will get that part straightened out. So click on yes. I'm gonna cover my screen again. I'm gonna wait for this to load so that I can cover the name and show you the next screen. The next screen will load with your child's name. It will also show you how many minutes they've earned this week and how many units they've passed off. This is um, the level that they're on. This level is level six, a day in Paris. You can see right here that this is level six. The stars indicate that these levels have been passed off. Then you're gonna click on this arrow. It's gonna load, it'll show you, it'll play a fun song for you. In Paris. And take you through, it takes you through, this is, because this is Paris, it's gonna take you through the opening of Paris, but there's also a lot of other fun levels. We'll just wait for that to scroll through for a minute. Okay, when you get to this menu bar, this is where your child will make their choices. Um, these coins, we call them coins, see how the outside is all colored in? They, that means that these areas, these units have been completed. So only these two units have work left to do. Building words and sight words, and everybody's um, will be a little bit different depending on your student's um, needs and where they are leveled. So you would need to choose one of these. It'll load that. Your student can work on that. When it's completed, it'll automatically pass them on to the next level. Hopefully that's been a little helpful for you as far as like logging in. If you have any questions, be sure to um, message me and I'm happy to help you. And please let me know if your child passes off any levels while we're out of school as well. Good luck to all of you. Stay safe and healthy and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.